Hello everyone. Hope you all are doing well. In this video, I'll be solving second sum of exercise 1.1 of chapter Integers of Standard 7. So let's see what does the question tell. In a quiz, positive marks are given for correct answers and negative marks are given for incorrect answers. If Jack's score in five successive rounds were 25, minus 5, minus 10, 15, and 10. What was his total at the end? So they have asked you to do total of all his marks. Okay, total means you have to do addition. Okay, so let us write the total marks of Jack now. In the first round, he obtained 25 marks. Okay, so since they have asked you to do total, that means you have to put the sign of addition here. Okay, next what, uh, which marks he has got? He has got minus 5. So this minus 5, I'll write it in a bracket. Next, put the addition symbol because we are doing total here. Next, what marks he has got? Minus 10. I'll put this minus 10 in the bracket. Next, put an addition symbol because we are doing total. Next, they have given the marks 15. It's plus 15. So, no need to put bracket now. It's already plus 15. Okay. Then lastly, put an addition symbol because we are doing total. Next marks, last marks they have given 10. It's plus 10, so again no need to put it in the bracket. Directly you can write 10. Okay. Now first, wherever there are brackets, let us open and take the brackets. Okay. So 25, I'll write it as it is. Fine. Now, outside the bracket, it is positive. Inside the bracket, it is negative. Signs are different. If the signs are different in the answer, you have to give minus sign. Okay. And you have to multiply. So, you know now, if there is no number here given, you have to assume the number to be 1. So, 1 Pfizer is 5. Okay. Next. Here, outside the bracket, it is positive. Inside the bracket, it is negative. Since the signs are different, in the answer, you will get minus sign. Okay. And no number is given here. Assume it to be 1. 1 Tenza is 10. Okay. Next. Plus 15 and plus 10. Without brackets, I'll write them as it is directly down. No brackets. Okay. Next. Here, if there is no sign given, that means you know it is positive. Okay. So, plus 25 minus 5. Let us take 2, 2 and solve it. Okay. Plus 25 and minus 5. So, one sign is positive. One sign is negative. Okay. So, signs are different. In the answer, you have to do subtraction okay signs are different you have to do subtraction 25 minus 5 what's the answer it is 20 right 20 answer and you have to give the sign of greater number greater number is 25 it's having positive sign so it will become plus 20 okay what else is remaining here minus 10 plus 15 plus 10 this whole thing is remaining i'll just write it down as it is okay as it is, I have written, written it down. Next, we will take next two numbers. First, we had taken these two numbers. Now, we are taking these two numbers. Now, one sign is positive, one sign is negative. So, if there are different, different signs, for the answer, you have to do subtraction. So, 20 minus 10. What is the answer? It is 10. And give the sign of greater number. 20 is the greater number. It is having plus sign. So, I will write here, plus 10. Okay, what else is remaining? Plus 15 and plus 10 is remaining. That thing I will write it down as it is. Plus 15 plus 10. Okay, now if you want you can just directly add all these because there is no minus sign. Directly it is 10 plus 15 plus 10. Otherwise if you want to do step wise, once again take the first two numbers here. Plus 10 plus 15. So, both the signs are same. So, if the signs are same, you have to do addition. Okay. So, 10 plus 15. What's the answer? It is 25. Okay. Next, what sign you will be giving? You will be giving the sign of greater number. 15 is having plus sign. So, I will give you a plus. And then this plus 10 which is remaining, I will write it down as it is. Okay. Next. Now, these two numbers. Plus 25 plus 10. Okay, so both are having positive signs. That means you have to do addition. 25 plus 10 is how much? 35. 
and give the sign of greater number. 25 is having plus sign, so I'll write here plus 35. So, how many marks did uh, Jack score? He has scored 35 marks. Okay, so finally you can write you can write something like this. Therefore, Jack scored 35 marks in 5 successive rounds. I hope you have understood the sum. Thank you. Keep watching. Please like, subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications of the upcoming videos.